Fellow gardeners, I've got to share something that completely transformed my relationship with earthworms, and it happened purely by accident. Last spring, while rushing to prepare my garden beds, I tossed some coffee grounds directly onto the soil without thinking twice. Within just three days, I noticed something incredible. The area was absolutely teeming with earthworms. More worms than I'd ever seen congregate in one spot, even around my well-established compost pile that had been cooking for months. That single observation led me down a fascinating rabbit hole of soil science and worm behavior that I'm excited to share with you today. The kitchen scrap I'm talking about is coffee grounds, and when you understand why they work so effectively, you'll never look at your morning brew the same way again. Coffee grounds possess a unique combination of characteristics that make them absolutely irresistible to earthworms. Unlike finished compost, which provides a steady but moderate food source, coffee grounds offer something much more immediate and appealing to our underground allies. The magic lies in their nitrogen content and texture. Fresh coffee grounds contain about 2% nitrogen by weight, making them a rich protein source for worms. But here's where it gets interesting. The grounds also have an ideal carbon to nitrogen ratio that sits right in the sweet spot for rapid decomposition. Earthworms can sense this chemical signature from surprisingly far distances, sometimes traveling several feet through soil to reach a fresh coffee ground deposit. The fine, granular texture of coffee grounds also plays a crucial role. Earthworms don't have teeth, so they need their food pre-ground to a size they can easily consume. Coffee grounds are already perfectly sized for worm consumption, eliminating the time and energy they typically spend breaking down larger organic matter. Perhaps most importantly, coffee grounds create the slightly acidic, moist environment that earthworms absolutely love. The pH typically ranges from 6.0 to 6.8, slightly acidic, but not so much that it becomes harmful to beneficial soil organisms. You might be wondering how something as simple as coffee grounds can outperform your carefully managed compost pile. The answer, honestly, lies in availability and concentration. Traditional compost, while excellent for overall soil health, goes through a lengthy decomposition process. By the time it's ready to use, much of the initial nitrogen has been consumed by microorganisms or has escaped through the composting process. What remains is stable, slower-release nutrients, fantastic for long-term soil building, but not necessarily the fast food that attracts worms quickly. Coffee grounds, on the other hand, arrive at your soil fresh and full of immediately available nutrients. They haven't been pre-digested by composting microorganisms, so earthworms get first dibs on all those rich nutrients. It's like the difference between offering someone a gourmet meal versus leftovers, both have value, but one is definitely more appealing in the moment. The moisture content also works in coffee grounds' favor. Fresh grounds retain moisture beautifully, creating the damp conditions earthworms need to breathe and move comfortably. This moisture, combined with the organic matter, creates an ideal microhabitat that worms find irresistible. Now, before you dump your entire week's worth of coffee grounds in one spot, let me share the technique that's worked best in my garden trials. The key is strategic application and understanding that more isn't always better. Start by spreading a thin layer of coffee grounds about a quarter inch thick over your target area. I've found that a three foot by three foot square gives you the perfect observation zone to watch the magic happen. Don't bury the grounds initially. Earthworms are more likely to find them when they're at or near the surface. Timing matters significantly. Apply your coffee grounds in the evening when soil temperatures are moderate and moisture levels are higher. Earthworms are most active during cooler periods, and evening application gives them all night to discover and begin working on your coffee ground buffet. Water the area lightly after application, not enough to wash the grounds away, but sufficient to activate their aroma and create the moist conditions earthworms seek. You want the soil damp, but not waterlogged. I've tested this method in different seasons, and spring and fall consistently produce the most dramatic results. Summer applications work but require more frequent watering, while winter applications in colder climates may take longer to show results as earthworm activity naturally slows. Earthworms are remarkably sophisticated creatures with complex sensory systems that help them locate food sources. 
they can detect chemical gradients in the soil, essentially following scent trails to rich organic matter deposits. Coffee grounds produce a particularly strong chemical signature that earthworms can detect from impressive distances. Different earthworm species respond differently to coffee grounds. In my observations, European nightcrawlers and red wigglers seem most attracted to fresh applications, often appearing within 24 to 48 hours. The larger nightcrawlers tend to work deeper, pulling some of the coffee grounds down into their burrows, while red wigglers often work right at the surface level. So, the attraction isn't just about food. Coffee grounds actually provide earthworms with the grit they need for their digestive process. Since worms don't have teeth, they rely on small particles in their gizzards to grind up food. The texture of coffee grounds, well, it serves this dual purpose just perfectly. Understanding this behavior really helps explain why you might see more dramatic results in some areas of your garden than others. Established earthworm populations will respond more quickly, while areas with fewer existing worms may take a bit longer to show activity, as the first pioneers need to discover and colonize the area. Once you've successfully attracted earthworms with coffee grounds, you'll want to keep them around and encourage population growth. The key here is creating an environment where they'll want to stay and reproduce. It's important to maintain consistent moisture levels in your coffee ground areas. Earthworms just can't survive if the soil dries out completely, so during dry spells a light watering every few days will keep your worm population thriving. However, you should avoid overwatering since waterlogged soil drives earthworms away just as effectively as drought conditions. Gradually transition from pure coffee grounds to mixed organic matter. While coffee grounds are excellent for initial attraction, earthworms need a varied diet for optimal health and reproduction. So, after the initial rush of activity, begin incorporating other organic materials like leaf mold, aged manure, or finely chopped kitchen scraps. Building a sustainable supply of coffee grounds requires a bit of planning, but it's easier than you might think. Your own daily coffee consumption probably provides enough grounds for small-scale applications, but most gardeners find they need additional sources for larger gardens. Local coffee shops are often happy to provide used grounds. Many actually pay for disposal, so you're helping them reduce waste costs. Call ahead and ask about their grounds disposal schedule. Some shops bag grounds specifically for gardeners, while others simply let you collect from their waste bins. Office buildings with coffee services are another excellent source. Many workplace break rooms generate substantial amounts of grounds that typically end up in landfills. A simple arrangement with building maintenance often results in a steady supply of grounds. For long-term success, rotate your application sites. Continuous heavy applications in the same location can eventually lead to nitrogen buildup and pH imbalances. I found that rotating application sites every few weeks maintains optimal soil conditions while keeping earthworm populations distributed throughout the garden. After months of experimenting with coffee grounds as a worm attractant, I'm convinced this simple kitchen scrap represents one of the most effective and overlooked tools in the gardener's arsenal. The rapid results combined with the ease of sourcing and application make coffee grounds an ideal solution for gardeners looking to boost their earthworm populations quickly and naturally. The transformation in soil health that follows increased earthworm activity is remarkable. Improved drainage, better nutrient cycling, and enhanced soil structure that benefits every plant in your garden. What started as an accidental discovery has become a cornerstone of my soil management strategy, and I'm confident it can transform your garden too. Ready to try this game-changing technique in your own garden? Start collecting those coffee grounds tomorrow morning and prepare to be amazed by the results. Don't forget to subscribe to Soil Sage Chronicles for more soil building secrets and practical gardening wisdom, and share this article with fellow gardeners who could benefit from healthier, more active soil. Your earthworms and your plants will thank you for it.